All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Higehiro episode 12, the semi season finale of this season. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to go. Obviously, I uh, have no idea what's going to happen towards the end here. And obviously, as we could saw what, what we saw in the last episode and what we are about to see probably again on screen, um, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a tricky situation they're in, for sure. It, we already know it was, but now it's like just. Ah, it's kind of falling apart. Um, but yeah, guys, as always, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into the episode right now. And there's that slap again. Yeah, he took her over. What's your beef? Bitch ass woman. It's a great way for Yoshida to meet her mum. He instantly does not like her. Okay, so let's get to talking, huh? Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, because you don't listen to her, you stuck up fucking... Which is very, very understandable. Yoshi just really trying to hold his tongue here, I think, and he's trying to let Sayu say her part. And now's the time to step in, Yoshida. Oh, shit, that shook me off. <laughs> God, she doesn't even know the half of what Sayu had to go through. What do you mean? Bro, get lost. Who cares about reputation or whatever? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've said that before. This woman is a child. An awful, mean child. Can we please animate just have a character that doesn't need redeeming? Ooh, Yoshi was like, ooh, Yoshi was about to throw that shit at her. Alright, say your piece, Yoshida. Say what you have to say. Yeah, yeah, you did. For real. <laughs> Nobody chooses to be born. No, it's a child. Like, they're brought into this world and they need help getting through it. It's nice that you're having this staring contest right now, Yoshida, but maybe some of this should be said out loud. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, start being a family, please, and do something about her life. Thank you. She needs to do a lot of catching up on the raisin, then. Like, she's 17 years old. She's almost, like, an adult able to move out. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to slap her for a minute. Yoshida has got some balls, man. This woman needs some therapy, bro. I don't think she's actually... I think it's too late. Well, I mean, good luck to Sayu if she actually wants to be raised by her mom for the last of her child childhood years, I guess. Oh my god, Yoshida, I didn't even notice. Have, I, have we ever seen this dude cry? Yeah, for real, Jesus Christ. God, this is so normal for her, and like... From an outside obs observation, it's like horrible. <laughs> Both of them just having a good cry together. You need that. You need the person you can just cry with. It's healthy. But he doesn't want to be without you. I can't... I really can't tell if Sayu actually has feelings for Yoshida anymore like that. Or it's just a, a deep admiration and love in a different way. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing to see here, Chief. Don't worry about it. Mm, that doesn't seem like raising her for the last of her childhood years, but okay. But it seems like Sayu is going to be the adult between her and her mum. Her mum could do with a bit of therapy. It doesn't hurt to try, you know. That's a very grown-up thing to do, to be fair. Well, you did it after he did it. That's okay, you know. <laughs> oh, what for? What do you want to speak to her about? Daijoubu. What does he want to talk to her about? That's the only reason. That's the only reason then? You just... You were just the person that was meant to help Sayu, I guess? Alright, so that was Higehiro episode 12. Um, next week is the finale, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how the series is going to end. Um, obviously, I don't know anything about the kind of manga slash light novel. I'm not really sure which it is, but... Um, is this kind of, does this kind of, once this reached the climax of kind of what's going to happen now, uh, 
technically in the next episode. Is this like the end of the story? Is there more after this or what? I don't know. It seems like quite a short story to me and it doesn't feel like there could be anything that could be developed on after kind of this pivotal moment is is passed in the anime, I suppose. Um, so it would be really interesting if this is going to be a one season thing or not. I don't know. Uh, but I, re I enjoyed this episode and I, I really love this. Love how Yoshida stood up for, obviously, Sayu to her mom and also how Sayu obviously got to, you know, explain herself and not just be afraid of her mom, even after the slap in the face. Like, she got to stand up for herself as well. It was really great. And as her brother said, she really has come back a lot more grown up than she was. And it's just super great to see. Um, and like I said, like, the how the relationship was kind of, is it going to go in this direction between Sayu and Yoshida? I don't know. It's just literally, as Yoshida just said, his reasoning for, you know, being there for Sayu is just he was meant to be there for Sayu. That's just it. That was just what he was meant to do. Uh, he saw her on the street, and it that that was it. That was that's why he was there for. Um, so I really enjoy how kind of their relationship has developed, and obviously it doesn't have to go in that direction. Um, which I mean, if even if it did at this point, I mean it, it'd probably be explained in some way. But I'm kind of glad it hasn't. Um, and yeah, I just I I've I've I've, I've definitely enjoyed this anime. Uh, I'm definitely seeing looking forward to seeing how the finale is going to go. But yeah, uh, anyway, guys, enough rambling from me. That is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.